Hey, Coach. Hi, Andrew. Um, I guess instead of talking about last week's games, let's talk about this week's games. How important is it to get back on track, especially with home match, the Big West match, kind of get your get everything back on very, track? Very, very, very important. I mean, this is what it's all about is these Big West matches. And Fullerton is, um, you know, on a two-game winning streak. They just went up to Davis and had a, a good win up there. So we're tied on six points. Everything now is about, uh, you know, get compiling as many points as you can and at home you know nothing less than three is what you want you know so yeah it's a, it's a huge game Wednesday it's the most important game of our season really when you think about it I just said I wasn't going to talk about last week but I am. just as far as that loss at Santa Barbara where the second half you guys were a different team came out attacking had some big opportunities you know how difficult was that loss compared to the other losses to the Gauchos, the one on the home field last year in the Big West tournament. I mean, how f hard was that one to come back from? You know what? They're 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 such a quality side. You know, they're they're a good side, and they they've got so many different weapons. I was just glad to see the team come out in the second half and and perform better and take more initiative. And so I was pleased with that. You know, it would have been great to get out of there and and, and get a point. You know, on a tie. And I thought we got pretty close to putting that equalizer in there. But, uh, you know, you, you look back and, you, you know, yeah, obviously you're disappointed you didn't get a point out of it. But, um, you know, you're playing one of the best teams in the country on the road. And we took some positives out of that. Um, and, uh, you know, we just know that uh, we've got to take care of business now. Hey, Coach. Uh, some good news and bad news, I guess. G uh, good news, um, looks like you're keeping the ball out of your own net. Um, you know, what, one goal allowed in, in three games, but then looks like some, some trouble on the other side putting the ball into the net. So is it, is it just frustrating knowing that it just hasn't all come together yet uh, consistently? You know, this year we just got to figure out, figure out ways to win. It doesn't matter how we do it right now, you know. I mean, um, you know, I was looking at, you know, the stats from my teams over the last 11 years and, you know, we've always been teams that have scored good goals and scored probably twice as many goals as we've given up. You know, this year may be different. This year we have to adapt and maybe we have to be, you know, a team that's really stingy defensively and look to win games, you know, one nothing, you know, 2-1. Um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're creating some chances, which is positive. You know, we're creating some chances. You know, we're, we had opportunities in Bakersfield to win it, win the game. We just didn't put them away. So that's frustrating. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's trying to get a result. And it doesn't matter what the score looks like. Get the result. And, and now that you're past the halfway point of the season, maybe the last third of the season here, I mean, do you see the, the, the progress that you would like to see right now in this team? Do you feel like you're, you're close to turning a corner? Or are you guys still maybe too far off? But, I mean, like, where do you, where do you see the team where you think they should be at right now? We're definitely uh, – Definitely getting better. You know, we're better than we were, you know, three weeks ago. You know, we have more of an idea of, of who's playing and where we're playing. Our best game of the year was at Fullerton. We played well at Fullerton from start to finish. And we want to keep that as kind of the standard of, you know, how we kept the ball, how we attacked. You know, we were organized defensively. Um, you know, so now it's just a matter of, of being able to, to put good performances together. Um, we're not seeing some of the same mistakes we were making at the beginning of the season, you know, giving the ball away, giving the, making silly mistakes in the back. Those aren't happening right now. So um, we are improving. Going back to the, the scoring punch, uh, do you need to get better on, on the set pieces and, and corner kicks and that kind of thing? To, you're talking about creating chances. I mean, are those the, the goals that you're going to need to score absolutely. here? Absolutely. No, absolutely. Those are so important. I mean, you think about, you know, probably 40% of all goals are scored off of set pieces, corner kicks, free kicks. Um, in fact, at Bakersfield, 20 seconds left in the game, 0-0, zero, zero, we drew a, a foul at the top of the box, and, and, and Junior Burgess just cracked one upper V and the goalie made the save you know we could have won it right there so yeah you know you need you need to make a couple of those you know uh, for things to go your way and um, you know got to put some of those away if those are the important moments for you guys in, in the game as far as scratching out wins I mean is there anything you can do to, to become more effective and, and train 
train them, you know, practice them. And uh, we do, you know, we do consistently. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll be training those again tomorrow before the game. Anything to do with guys just sort of getting more uh, comfortable with each other or just? Uh... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think the guys are pretty comfortable with each other. Just a matter of putting it in there, you know. In soccer, all over the world, the the most valuable thing in the game is a goal score. You know that's why they pay Cristiano Ronaldo amazing amount of money. They they pay you to put the ball in the back of the net, and um, it's not an easy thing to do, you know. And uh, you know so that's our challenge is to put the ball in the back of the net tighten up ourselves defensively so that we can win the game one nothing if needed. What was the going into this week, what what was the, the goalie switch with Bakersfield about? Was that just to get Patrick a, a Patrick, game off? Patrick had a, you know, he had a strained muscle. Um, and at Bakersfield we played a number of young players and freshmen knowing that, you know, Wednesday night is, is really what it's all about.